I'm Trey Scott, and today we are experimenting with the dry ice and the sublimation process. The sublimation process is when uh, something goes from its solid state directly to its gas form without ever entering its liquid form. We will be experimenting on these four tests. The first one being the, the controlled group, which is dry ice and food coloring. Then we will add water. Then we will add dish soap. And finally, we'll, we will add dish soap on a string using this right here. And uh, you should always uh, use safety goggles and uh, gloves because it can burn your skin because it is negative 110 degrees Fahrenheit. So let's get to it. We will begin with the first test being dry ice and food coloring. So we will start with about a quarter of a pound piece of dry ice. and three drops of food coloring. As you can see, the food coloring does not stick to it. It just rolls off and splashes onto the side. Here is a close-up. The second test will be adding water to that. So first we put a piece of dry ice in the water. As you can see, it starts to bubble. And if you add food coloring, at least three or four drops, it doesn't turn green at the top because that is the carbon dioxide and warm water mixing. And it may change color depending on when you put the drops in. Now we are on to the third test. The exact same as two except we add dish soap. So first, as always, we put in one piece of dry ice. We add the food coloring, and then we see what happens when we add two tablespoons of soap. At first, you do not see anything, but then it will start to bubble. This can be used as a Halloween decoration, but um, it never stops till the dry ice is fully sublimated. And now we're on to the final one, and most likely the best. We will add our dry ice our pink food coloring. Now I will attempt to make a bubble with this string and seal the container. As you can see, a bubble rose because the carbon dioxide and warm water combined with the dish soap are trapped in. Now, once this is uh, has too much weight on one side more than the other, you will see it begins to pop. One rule, never put a top on any of these with liquid and dry ice because the expansion could cause an explosion based on the carbon dioxide and warm water expanding, eventually the bottle or glass would explode. This is Trey Scott from Prescott South Middle School, and now I've got a whole nother day just for testing this dry ice.